It takes a long time to drive across America, let alone cross the continental United States on a bicycle. Yeah, well, that is what one man was doing when new specialist Andrew Adams caught up with him this evening. And Andrew, any story like this one begs the question, why? Well, Mike, that's a great question. Temperatures reached close to 98, even 100 degrees today. And this guy admits he's not even having fun. But as you'll see, this journey isn't even about fun. Two wheels. I've changed gears about a million times. Can only take a man so far. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen to you. The rest is pure dry. Pardon? Brent Bundy's ride across America. Oh, this is this is nice. It's flat. Has taken him down some unfamiliar avenues. Idaho, Utah. All in the name. That's her name. Of a very familiar purpose. She was one of my best friends. Breast cancer awareness. She was incredible. She left you know, three small children. Devastating. Forget the weight he carries. I've got 75 pounds of stuff. Or his feelings about the ride. Actually, I do not care for cycling too much. Bundy like is to driven go. beyond those obstacles and even his own physical limitations. I broke my neck in 97, had up to seven strokes and had to learn to walk, talk and eat. Their limitations, he simply pedaled through. They gave me a 5% chance of walking, but here I am. Here he is embarking on a nearly 3,000 mile journey that isn't even his first. This is five, fifth and last. Though he rides, Bundy's drive propels him to new horizons. Every hill that I came across, I think, is this has gotta be the last one. Well, it's not, there's about a thousand more. Well, as for breast cancer, Bundy says it's important to catch it early. If you do, the survival rate is high. And he says, men, you can catch it too. As for his journey, Bundy says he left Oregon on June 28th. He's expected to reach Staten Island in early September. Back to you. Yeah, certainly doing everything he can to get that message across. All right, Andrew, thank you.